Oop. Okay, when Sloppy throws the ball, you're going to hit the ball and run to that base, and then that base, and then that base, and come back here to home base. But you've got to make sure you get back here before Ollie catches the ball and tags you with it. Got it? Uh huh. Good. Play ball! <laughs> Oh. Hit the ball! Oh. <coughs> Don't forget to run! <laughs> Wait a minute! You're not supposed to run diagonally across the field. You're supposed to run along the side of the field. I don't think he knows what along the side and diagonally mean. Come on, let's draw, draw, draw! Come on, everyone, watch me use my magic crayon To draw most anything in Ollie's scratch pad If I see it in my head, I can draw it with my hands I can draw most anything in Ollie's scratch pad And the square over here is the baseball field. See? It's got four straight sides and four corners that are all the same size. Actually, the field is a diamond shape, which is a square standing on its corner. There are four bases, one at each corner of the diamond. See? One, two, three, four. And in baseball, the person that hits the ball needs to run along the four sides of the diamond, starting from home base. And come back to home base again. But you ran across the center of the diamond like this. You went diagonally across. That's it! You've got it! Now it's time to finish our game! Let's go home, home, home! <laughs> Say yay! yay! Now who's up for a drink and a snack? Yeah! yeah. Yeah, you waste a lot of water by leaving the tap on when you soap your hands. You should turn the water off if you're not using it. Oh, relax. It's only water. It's not like we'll ever run out of it. Only water, huh? I think there's something you need to see. Let's get wild, wild, wild. So dry. Oh, 
Oh no, it's thirsty. We've got to help the deer find something to eat and drink. <sighs> oh! Aha! That might be water. Let's take a look. <laughs> That's it? Where's all the water? I'm sorry, fella. This is all we could find. An elephant! A rhinoceros, too? There's not enough water here for all these animals. Water really is important. We're lucky we have so much water back home. If only we could share it with these animals. Way to go, helicopter! <laughs> It didn't matter how much water I used, because we'd never run out. I never imagined there were places where people and animals didn't have enough water. Yeah, the more water we waste, the less there is to share with everybody. Then I'm never going to waste water again. Me neither. Come on, let's go home, home, home. It. Just turn the tap on halfway so we don't use too much water. Now, where's that soap? Here. And then we can get back to a game of baseball. You've got it. Hmm. Wow, what a day we had. We heard an organ today, and it sounded like this. And we learned that squares have four straight sides and four corners that are all the same size. And that you can go along the sides of a square like this. Or diagonally, from one corner to the corner across from it, like this. We also saw the color brown. We learned that we shouldn't waste water. <laughs> I love Olipolis. I can't wait to see what will happen tomorrow.
looks amazing! to square dance? Nope. For my special square dance, we only need four. <gasps> oh, we can't have square dancing without a violin. Mm. Hey, it's brown, just like your radio. Yep, and we also can't square dance without a square. Mm -hmm. Four straight sides and four corners that are all the same size. Perfect. Now, we start this dance with everybody standing at one side of the square. And then you... Skip to a corner and slap your knee. Cross the square diagonally. Twirl to the right and shout, yippee! Come on, y'all, do the square dance with me. Wait, wait, wait. What does diagonally mean? What is diagonal anyway? A diagonal is a line that goes from one corner of the square to the corner that's across from it. So the corner that's diagonally across from me is that corner. And now I'm going to cross the square diagonally, like this. <gasps> that's it, Rover. Ta-da! You crossed the square diagonally. And now, let's dance! Skip to a corner and slap your knee. Cross the square diagonally. Twirl to the right and shout, Yippee! Come on, y'all, do the square dance with me. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> let's do it again. Everyone ready? Skip to a corner and slap your knee. Cross the square diagonally. Twirl to the right and shout, Yippee! Come on, y'all, do the square dance with me. Yee-haw! Yee -haw! Square dancing is so much fun! You know, we should have a square dancing party and invite all our friends. Cherry, you can teach your dance to everybody. And it'd be awesome if you could play the violin, too. Mm -hmm. Everybody? Oh, boy. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Jerry? It's the middle of the night. Why are you practicing the violin? I want to play my best at the party. Well... Could you make the violin softer? A violin is just an empty box made of wood. I can't make it softer. If only we could make a violin that could go loud and soft. Sloppy's Workshop. 
going to build our own special violin? <laughs> A square? How's that going to make it special? Oh, that'll let it get loud and soft. Nice. Though brown is kind of boring. How about making it shiny silver? And giving it a square body. Perfect for square dancing. Wait a bit. You can make the violin go loud and soft. You can even make it silver, but it has to look like a violin. And violins are not square shaped. <laughs> Our new violin! Now let's see how loud this violin can go. We did it! We've got a violin that can get loud and soft. Let's go home, home, home! What are you doing here? I'm scared. What if I mess up? What if my playing isn't perfect? And nobody has fun because of me! Cherry, we're your friends. We don't want you to be perfect. We just want you to be you. Besides, this is a party and everybody should be having fun. Including you. So don't worry. Whatever happens, we'll still think that you're the best. All right, then. Let's go. Skip to a corner and slap your knee. Cross the square diagonally. Twirl to the right and shout, Yippee! Come on, y'all, do the square dance with me. Wow, what a day we had! We found out that a square has four straight sides and four corners that are all the same size. And learned that when you go from one corner of a square to the corner across from it, you're crossing the square diagonally. We also saw the color brown today. And we learned that wood is brown. And we heard the sound that a violin makes. It's really pretty. Wow. <laughs> I love Olipolis. I can't wait to see what will happen tomorrow. We're coming.